everyone, welcome to another shed session. Um, today we're with uh, AMCA driver John Smith and his pit crew man Dan. Um, so we're going to do a bit of a shed session, a bit of a yak. We was going to do a cardboard session, wasn't we John? Yep, but, we sure uh, was. We went, we went down to Johnny's place and uh, she was a bit windy so we've actually <laughs> vacated back to my shed. Um, which is not really what I like to do but we'll give it a go anyway. So anyway, we'll get into it anyway. So, Johnny, where'd you grow up, mate? Uh, between Penguin and Devonport, sort of alternating between mum and dad. Yeah. They separated when I was fairly young, so we sort of split custody sort of rights there, so... Yeah. And escalated from there. And um, what made you want to get into racing? Uh, pretty much dad. As I was a young tacker, he, he was crewing on Andy McLean's super sedan, and that's where my... Interest sort of developed from there. I know. So you've grown up around Speedway most of your life? Oh, not really most of my life. Probably from about 10 onwards sort of thing. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm still only fairly young sort of thing myself compared to most people that are interested in the Speedway sort of things. So. Yeah, right. Eh? So did you actually, was you around when Penguin Speedway was about or was you a little bit later on? No, I was a bit later on than Penguin. I sort of been up and rode the push bike around Penguin for a bit of fun as a young fella. Yep, yep. But yeah, apart from that, I didn't see no racing on it or yep. anything like that from back in the days there, so. Yep. yep. And what about yourself, Dan? Where did you grow up, mate? Oh, uh, well, I grew up around uh, Devonport area, mate. Yep. Uh, Devonport, East Devonport. Yep, yep. Yeah. Yep, that's the game. Um, what made you interested in motorsport? I know you're not a driver, you're only a pit crew member, but you've still got to be interested in motorsport to do this sort of thing. Oh yes, definitely. Like um, mainly, what got me into it is back in the younger days. My sister and her, well, so-called boyfriend back then, he used to um, be Les Redpath's mechanic, yeah. and we sort of just grew up from Speedway from there. And after they got out of it, I just kept on going. And I've had some mates back in the days where the we had Taz sedans, and yeah, I was sort of pit crewing for about five to seven years there. Yeah. So, but um, that's sort of how I got into Speedway. There's Red Path, that's a big name in Tasmanian Speedway. It, it is, mate, it's huge, yeah. yeah. Yeah, if you ever went to the Speedway and seen Les Red Path race a, a sprint car or anything for that matter, he was one of the most outstandingest drivers you'd ever see out on the track. Yep. You know? um, and his sons are, aren't too bad either. No, they're still going. Big shout still out to going. Jason and Adrian. Yep. Adrian's just been to the Chariots of Thunder actually and done really well over there. I've, you know, I've, from what I've seen, so he had a bit of bad run there at one stage, but he finished second on one of the nights, so well done Adrian, top effort. So Johnny, back to you, how many years have you been racing now? Uh, this year's going to be my third year. And how are you, you you're fitting in, you liking it or? Yeah, yeah, I've sort of adapted to the class a bit quicker and better than I sort of thought. Ask any of the other drivers for a bit of advice if I need it, still being young and still learning the ropes of it, so... Any experienced drivers that give me advice, I'm definitely taking that on board. Yeah, you've had a bit of help from uh, Rodney Bassett and Garth Stevens and uh, Rowan Blair as well. Yeah. Have I missed anyone else? Uh, Matt, Matt Smith gave me a lot oh, of yeah, advice Matty as Smith. well. Yeah, big shout out to Matty Smith. He does a lot for the AMCA class. And um, Dewey, he sort of gives me a bit of advice behind the scenes too. If I need any advice on anything, I'll reach out to him because he's pretty well technical yeah. stand with our division so yeah 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 now they're, they're a great bunch of blokes the AMCA blokes they're all they're they're out there to help each other and if someone's not out there having a good go with their car they're they're pretty quick to come over and offer a bit of help aren't they yeah yeah well, like Rodney said to me when I first got advice off him he said to me he goes unless you're going the right direction he goes we're all stuff sort of thing so yeah yeah, yeah. did you is it as easy as what you thought it'd be <laughs> no, definitely not. No. You you watch it as a young and growing up on the banks and then go out and actually experience it. It's definitely different to sort of drive on it to 
watching it sort of thing. It's so. not as easy as just turning left, is it? No, no, definitely not. <laughs> Anyone ever says that speedway is easy, just go, all you got to do is turn left. Well, they're going to get a nasty little shock when they first go out on that track, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. So, what car, what brand of car do you race, John? Uh, I run. I actually don't even know if they've actually built a brother car to this one, so it's a bit sort of sentimental to myself because it's one of a kind sort of car, but I run a Brooks built. Brooks built? Which Brooks is that? Uh, built by Darren and Daniel. Yeah. Well, it was originally built in Sprayton, as far as I'm aware, so yep, yep, in yep. Darren Brooks's workshop when he was welding. So, so she's a fair age old car then? Yeah, it's one of the older girls, yep, but... Yep, yep. But as I've seen a lot of times on Speedway, you can have a car that's reasonably old still and still be competitive. You know? Yeah. Like you don't have to have like Formula 1s and V8 supercars. If you haven't got the top of the, the notch equipment, you know, you're not going to win in that sort of class. But in, in Speedway, you can still be competitive with a, a low budget, really. Yeah. And with AMCAs, I, I, they're probably one of the lowest budgets, Speedway divisions out there I'm, I, that I'm aware of, um, apart from probably street stocks. But, you know, even they're starting to get a good price now to, to get them out there and racing. Um, so it's a Brooks car, methanol or petrol? Uh, it runs on methanol. Yep, yep. And you run a 253, am I correct? Yeah, yeah, a lot of the boys are going to the 350 crate motors, but funding-wise, it's... I wouldn't really say it's cheaper to build a 253, but they can match it with them. Like, our state champion at the moment runs a 253, and in all honesty, as far as I'm aware, I don't think a crate motor has actually won a Tasmanian title yet. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. That's an interesting yeah. fact. Yeah. You know? oh, I suppose the, the 253 would be a lot more suitable engine to the speedway, where the Chev, you probably wouldn't get the amount, the full amount out of it, as um, what you would, you know, on a, on a straight bit of straight or something. Yeah, it would be interesting to drive a Chev just to see the difference between the two. Yeah, it would be interesting. Yeah, yeah. So you race AMCAs at the moment? Yeah. So for all those people out there, what is an AMCA? Um, well, they're, they're pretty well based off a old old model Holden front end. Yep. But they're just, they're advancing technology a bit more with that so we can run a specified clip that the Amcar Nationals actually fabricate themselves. Yep, so. yep, 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 cool. So, but originally they had HQ, HJ, HZ, is that right, front ends in them? Yeah, yeah, yeah a, lot of them, a lot of them used to run them and then... Now they're going to the front ends as well, so... Yeah, they'd be hard to get out of now, oh, HQ front end, you know, like, they're, they're as rare as rockin' horse, you know. Mm. Um, yeah, very hard to get out of anything associated with old Holdens nowadays. Why'd you choose AMCAs, Johnny? Well, it was just a stumble across the car at the moment sort of thing. I actually went to look at a Formula 500, pretty much ready to race. All I had to do was get the motor for that tagged, and that ended up falling through, but the same guy had the AM car, so he offered that to me at the same sort of price as the 500. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And what about yourself, Dan? Have you ever thought of getting into Speedway? And have a drive instead of being a pit crew member? Oh, just the thought has there, but yeah. no, I think I'd just be happy to be a pit crew, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. enjoy just... Yeah, just tinkering around and, yeah. yeah, you know, helping out when I can sort of thing, so, you know. What about you? Has it been an eye opener of you? instead of burning up on the bank? Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. And especially knowing how the cars run and the way that they're set up, you know, there's quite a bit to it. It's not as easy as what everyone thinks. Oh, definitely You, not. you know, like, definitely yeah. Not. And you had a bit of issues last year with the engine. Had a, put a little bit of a hole in the, bit of a bore, so you're getting an engine rebuilt at the moment. Yeah, yeah, things weren't unfortunate for me there towards the end of the season. Lucky it was towards the end of the season. I got through most of it, thankfully. Yeah. But yeah, we took it down to Hobart for a couple of maiden voyages and yeah. And you was just starting to get onto the pace. You, you know, you had trouble with car set up to start with and I know a couple of the boys have helped you out and the car looks to be a lot more settled on the track now than what it used to. So that'll be a big help once you get the new engine back in and, and go on. Yeah, definitely. I got, well, Rodney actually come over to me at La Trobe to give me, a, wouldn't say a bit of advice, gave me a lot of advice on how to get some front end control in the car because I was suffer suffering a lot of push and anyone that's been on the clay knows push isn't no good. Yeah, no, definitely not, definitely not. So what division would you like to race if not an AMCA? Oh, if it wasn't an AMCA, I'd probably say a late model. Yeah, 
Yep, and why? Just because they look sort of suited to my driving style. Like they're aggressive and up and about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, they're definitely an aggressive um, car, especially when you see Brad Bloke Slot, uh, Brad Smith out there mm. going crazy. Yes. Yeah, yeah between him and Callum. <laughs> yeah, definitely know, and so can Callum. Callum's yeah. definitely a wild wheeler himself, but um, yeah. Favourite event in Tasmania? Oh, at the moment, I'd have to say the Tassie title. That's yep. probably my biggest event to run. Yep, yep. And where's that this season? Uh, down Hobart. Yeah, right. So another long trip to Hobart for you? Yeah. Yeah, cool, cool. Who was your biggest hero growing up? I'd probably have to say Andrew Simons. And why? Just how he done, lived his life. Yep, yep. Like, he had his cricket there to play, but loved his fishing too. Yep, yep, definitely. <laughs> Definitely love his fishing. Yeah, yeah, there's no doubt about that. He's a great cricketer too. What about yourself, Dan? Do you have any role models or heroes growing up? Uh, I'd probably have to say Peter Brock, mate. Yeah. He'd have to be number one hit. Yeah, but he was an outstanding oh, mate, yeah. driver of his time and his calibre, wasn't he? Yeah, his yeah, life was taken too quick and too short, mate. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, definitely. Favourite track you've raced on, John? Uh... I'd probably have my best runs at Latrobe, but I'd probably say Hobart. You like Hobart? Why do we like Hobart so much? Uh, just the bottom bottom end of the track sort of suits my car a lot more. Yep. I can position it wherever I want down there and it gets around it. So. Yeah, I don't mind Hobart actually. For one of the one reason, it's a, it's a great track to, to watch speed by at. And um, it's probably the only track in Australia that you can... Sit in your car and watch. I was going to say, it's, it's good for the yes. family. You can leave and them in no the car. Where and... you look around the track, you've got the mountains in the background, and it's a very picturesque, scenic sort of track yeah. as well. So, yeah, it's, I, I've always had a soft spot for Hobart. But um, what's the one event you really want to win, mate? I'd have to say a Tassie title. Yep, yep, yep. definitely. More, more consistent down here as an event, but this year we've got the Aussie that's title. Some big names so. out there, too. There's some. Big drivers down here in Tasmania. Some hard ones to beat, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, Blake's like Rowan Blair and Dewey Ryder and, yep. you know, Rodney Bassett. Rodney Bassett's always up there and so is Dewey and so is I was going to say Dewey's a fill-in oh, driver yeah. at the moment, but he just jumps in a car and finds a way to win. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> very, it's very close from first to last with the AMCHs. You've got a couple of stragglers off the back, yeah. which are still learning the division, but as for all the other blokes... They're pretty much on it. Even Adrian Bassett, he's up there all the time. Yeah. You know, I'll, I'll Mr. Consistent. To, trying to think of some more names here, but they're sort of slipping <laughs> in mind at the moment. Matt but Smith. Matt Smith, yeah. Matt Smith's a gun. Yeah. You know? I don't know why I forget Matty all the time. <laughs> He'll end up messaging me. Why are you keep forgetting me? <laughs> anyway, sorry, Matty. Um, Favourite track you haven't raced on that you would like to? Yeah, this can be anywhere. Australia, America, whatever you want. Probably have to say Mildura. 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 Why are we going to Mildura, John? Ooh. I just watched the Australian title there last year, and I think that if I took my car there, I think I don't really w would have to actually change too much setup wise on it. Yep. So it'd be pretty well set, ready to go, sort of thing. Yep, 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 definitely. Ooh. Cool. Are you racing the Oz title at Carrick this year? Yeah, well, that's the aim. Well, it's actually next year, isn't it? Yeah. 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 This yeah. season, but next year, yeah. Yeah, it comes around. Mid March. Mid March. So that that's going to be huge in Tasmania. Last mm. one they had here was pretty big too. So yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. wait. And Carrick, when when you have an Oz title at Carrick, they put on a pretty good show. Yeah, and you know, yes. it's probably one of our underrated tracks. Like it's a good track to drive. Oh, it's a brilliant track. It's hard to pick a favourite track of the three, but it's a real drivers track. I think Carrick. You know, um, it's a lot tighter than the Trove in Hobart, but mm. um, and a different surface, of course, but. Um, the way they're, they're getting the track up and going at the moment, and that it's really been good up there the last couple of seasons. I was going to say, they're doing a lot of see, work in the off-season. Good to see Carrick going good again, because mm, yeah. it's always been a, a very well-liked track and a well-liked venue in Tasmania. So. Yeah, well, it probably would be my favourite track, but I've had a lot of bad luck there, so... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah no, that's just... Some, like, La Trobe and Hobart, they're pretty much set now. Like, they've, yeah. they've spent a lot of money and at La Trobe, especially the last couple of seasons, and they've got that up to, you know one of the best venues in Australia, so it's good to see Carrick getting back up there as well. Where are we hoping to finish the Oz title, John? <laughs> uh, being a new driver, 
if I start the AMA, I'd be happy. AMA, yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah, that's that's a great thing, mm. you know. Um, when we was in the 500 title last year and I was picking on for Danny, I said to Danny, I said, just be consistent. We've got an old car, but consistency will get you through to the final. Mm. And lo and behold, we made the AMA without going through the B and that. We was absolutely wrapped in that, you know. Mm. So yeah. if you could do that, yeah, it should be a party all night, whether oh, you won it or not. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Old Dan likes his drink too, don't you, Dan? Oh, Same yeah. Same the old girl of Dan, as we all do. That's it, mate. Certainly. If money wasn't an issue, John, what would you be racing and why? Probably a late model, yeah. just for the reason I said earlier. Yeah. It pr probably suits my driving wild yeah. style of wild, wider car. Don't like the sprint cars? Probably a bit wild for me. <laughs> being, <laughs> being a bit... As people say, you're still a rookie. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, probably a bit wild as yet. I'd like to stay in the sedan division as yeah. much as possible, but yeah. sprint car would be fun to have a go in. Mm. Yeah, yeah, certainly. Now, you're a bit of a shark on the golf course, John. <laughs> yeah. I know that through personal experience. <laughs> yeah, I've won a couple of club championships on the golf course. So you're so. still playing golf, and you're actually a pretty gifted sort of um, sports person. You play good golf, you play good cricket. You play great football, you know. Um, what's out of the three? Blue motorsport out of it now. Out of the three, <laughs> what do you think you're best at, and why do you think? Probably me football. Yeah. I've played a lot of representative cricket and all that sort of stuff, but I think me football went a lot higher than all my other like sporting abilities. So, yeah, I'd probably say football. Yeah, yeah. You've got a association, best and fairest too. Years back, wasn't it? Yeah, reserves one when I was playing for fourth. Yep, yep, that would have been a pretty good achievement to get. Definitely unexpected. Yeah, yeah, excellent. <laughs> what about yourself, Dan? You playing sport? Oh, I don't mind having a slap at the old golf ball, mate, but other than that, yeah, nah. Yeah, sort I don't of... mind slapping the golf ball too, but that's pretty much what it is. Yeah. <laughs> slapping the golf ball, and that's if you can find the bloody thing after I've hit it. Yeah, certainly. So, but I, I've been with Johnny a few times. Yeah. And he's a shark. Rolling, yeah, okay. he's a shark, man. You've got to watch him. Yeah. We'll have to... What do you play off, John? I got down to six. Down to six? Yeah. Well, I got down to 12, <laughs> and I, I can't get nowhere near him after time. <laughs> the only time I do get near him is if he loses the putter at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyway. Um, what teams did you play for, John, in your football career? Uh, I've played for quite a few. I've played a lot for Penguin back when I was in the NTFL. Yeah. And then... I went to Caprona in the Darwin for a year. One of my mates was out there, so I went and had a year with him. And then he ended up going to Turner's Beach in the NWFA, so I went with him there as well. So I've played for quite a few, but... Favourite club you played for? Probably fourth. Yep. Because when I first went there, I wouldn't really say they were struggling. They were sort of elimination finals, consistency sort of thing. But then... They recruited really well the year I went there, so yeah, yeah, yeah. within the first two years, it was a premiership window for the, either side, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New colour scheme this year for the race car? Not all black this year. What colour are we going? Are we allowed to say, or well, we're going to see it anyway, because there's going to be video. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we've gone to a light blue with the black. Yeah. Just something a bit different to break black up a bit. And a yellow chassis. And the yellow frame. I actually don't so. mind it. I reckon it looks a lot different than last year. And, and for all those people out there asking what colour his numbers are going to be, well, Johnny did some work at uh, V8 Supercars this year. Yeah. And just happened to be walking past the Monster Car Garage, wasn't you? Yeah. And they were throwing out some bright green wrap. So, yeah, the numbers are going to be quite bright this year, aren't they, John? Yes, yeah. They Hopefully they stand out like we're expecting. I reckon they will, yes. Uh, okay. Cars look good, man. Cars look good. We're just waiting on few things to be done to the engine so we can get that together aren't we yeah yeah a bit of machine work but everything else is near ready to go not so long now. Not long now. yeah she'll come to life again yeah that's it dan yeah, she'll come to life again what do you do when you're not racing or playing with cars john just spend as much time as i can with family yeah, yeah. and how are the kids do they like dad racing yeah yeah keegan especially yeah. kaylee doesn't sort of Adapt as much if I'm close to a crash. She sort of, nah, that's it, it's gone. <laughs> so, yeah, but that's to be expected. They're all still fairly young, so. And yeah, they're all into sport, too, aren't they? Pretty, pretty much all the kids. Yeah, well, Kaylee, she's a netball. She plays football with the boys as well, so. 
Yeah. She's got a rep game of netball coming up. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. cool, cool. She made the northwest side, didn't she? Yeah, yeah, they played the Darwin school. Who's going to be the first one to jump in the race car, you reckon, out of the three? Probably Keegan or Kaylee because they're already on to me to get him a go kart to get yeah. into it. So yeah. go kart's a good division for kart for yeah. any kid to start in. You, know, yeah. you look at all the big drivers in Australia and in the world, like a lot of them come out of go karts. They so did. Formula One drivers come out of go karts. It's a great place to learn. Especially a lot of the outside car drivers too. Yeah, yeah. Where do you see yourself in ten years' time, John? Hopefully, still racing and having a, having the boy on the track with me in a car as well. That'd be alright. That's the aim. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that, that would be pretty good. Favourite football team? Oh, well, where do we start? I think we held up the ladder this year, didn't we? Yeah, a lot of us would say we're the strongest team in the comp at the moment because we've held the ladder up for the last two oh, seasons. We were down so. there holding hands, we just didn't yeah. worry about that. Yeah, no, but I'm a North Melbourne man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Favourite colour and why? Probably blue. Yeah. yeah. Electric blue, I reckon. Just the metallic through it looks good. Yeah, it does look good. It does look good. Plans for the future? Um, as I said, hopefully running a family race team. Yep. Yep. That's the goal. That's the goal. And how's Belle, the, the missus, handle all the, the racing? Does she like to get involved in it or does she just let you go? Or? Uh, she brings the kids to watch. That's about as far as it goes. Yep. <laughs> Helps out a little bit. but. You ask me if anything needs to do, nah, I'll fix it. Well, Dan's a right hand man, really. He's only, what, a few houses up the road from where, where you live. So yeah, he's nice and close, so if I need anything done, he's nice close. And close. Yeah, 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 and yeah. he's always keen. And That's it, mate. Over. Yeah. Um, so, talking about that, Dan, you've got a, a you're in a, a member of some truck association, or you've got a truck show coming up, or? Yes, that I have, Jamie, on the 29th of October over at the Alveston Showgrounds. We have a uh, event coming up called the Thank You Day Show, and uh, all monies that will be raised on the day goes to Beyond Blue and New Mornings. New Mornings. Yes, it's the New Mornings is a like a ladies group, yep. and they get yep. together and do their thing. Yep. But yep. yeah, so. And this is only a new event? Ah, uh, yes, it's this, this will be the second year into it. Yeah. But um, this is uh, to actually take over the Olveston show because the show society got too elderly pretty much and yeah. called it quits. So there's only five of us that are actually running this event, but we're still doing all right. So. And you're looking for sponsors, of course, at the moment? Yes, if there's anybody out there, uh, please give me a call or get hold of Jamie. We'd love to hear from you. We need as much sponsorship as possible, so... Yeah. Yeah. So that, what, is uh, this just a truck show or? No, it... there will. Uh, there's going to be a truck show. Uh, we'll have tractors from the tractor pull guys. Um, we've got a few classic tractors coming down from Westbury as well. Um, and there'll be heaps of food stalls. There'll be a dog show, chook show. Um, we've got some medieval people coming. We've got the snake man coming, and we've still got a few more things in tow yet. But also we'll have side sideshow alley show bags and all that sort of stuff yeah, to go excellent. along with it. So. Excellent. Yeah. But it'll be by um, entry by donation, so whatever you feel you need to put in the tin, well, whether it be five cents, ten cents, twenty cents, it doesn't matter. Every little just, bit helps. Yeah, every little bit helps, but also it's mainly just to give everybody an awesome day out. Excellent. So, yeah. Excellent. That's good to see stuff like this back in Olveston. I love this little town. It's a great little town. Yeah, it's coming back to life slowly. It is, yeah. And when we lost the show, that sort of, you know... Put a bit of a softener on things, but now to have a, car, a truck and car show back, that, that'd be brilliant. Mm -hmm. I reckon, great idea. When was that again, Dan? Uh, the 29th of October, mate. 29th of October. Yeah, at the Alveston Showground. Yep. Starts at 9 o'clock and finishes at 4 o'clock. Excellent. So put that in your calendar, people. That, that's going to be a great event, I reckon. Um, yeah, so, and if you're interested in sponsoring or even um, putting your truck or car or, you know, tractor into the event as an entrant, uh, feel free to grab hold of us and we'll point you in the right direction. Last but not least, Johnny, there's people out there that have helped you out over the last, you know, two seasons you've been racing. Um, is there anyone you'd like to thank? Sponsors, people? Uh, Danny Shadbold at Shadweld. If I need trailer maintenance or anything like that, if Joe, my other bloke, that's, helps me out a lot, he does... Unnameless stuff. Super for that Joe? Guy. Yeah, Super Joe. <coughs> a lot of people would know him as, but 
the amount of work he puts into the car as well behind the scenes. Oh, he's got a heart of gold, Joe. He, he really has. He, he'll help anyone out. Um, and he's a very smart man at what he does. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, definitely. There's no, there's no doubt about that. Anyone else, mate? Um, not offhand, really. Probably Hillcrest Charcoal Chicken. They done a bit for me over the last couple of seasons as well. Hopefully, I can keep <coughs> them on board as well. Rodney Bassett and Garth Stevens, Matty Smith, anyone that's really gave me advice that's helped me go the right direction. Yeah, without them sort of blokes, you, you know, it's a very hard sport, this, especially when you go in there as a, a rookie and you've got no idea what you've got to do to set your car up to turn left. Definitely, as Dan said, they're not easy to set up. No, no, no you know, it's, it's, it's definitely a division and a... Um, Saw a form of motorsport that's not as easy as what people think they are. Um, anyway, thanks for joining us today, John, and you, Dan, as well. No worries. Um, Pleasure. I hope the truck show goes absolutely brilliant. Yeah, mate. Um, once again, the 29th of October for, uh, for the truck show here in Alveston. Um, if you'd like to know any information, just give us your. I presume you've got a Facebook page? Uh, yeah, mate. Yes, we have. What one's that? It is called the uh, Thank You Day Show. Um, on Facebook, just jump on there, um, and then, uh, yeah, so, yeah. Give the page a like, and that'll have event information on there, yep. leading up to the day and what's going on. Um, it, it's going to be a great day, I reckon, um, that's for sure. Anyway, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down the bottom, everyone, and uh, we'll talk to you very soon, and thanks very much for coming today, fellas, and uh, best of luck for the season, John. We hope Thank you. Goes well. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.